Uh, yeah, but I like fire hoses. You know, I've been in this situation before where I've had to learn a whole new language in a matter of weeks. So uh, I do have some familiarity being in Shanahan's offense before, and there's some carryover between the systems. So, uh, I mean, the fact that they already kind of got all their installs and they're going a little deeper now is a little tougher uh, than like a day one install, but uh, it's part of the job and, you know, I'm embracing it. And I guess as far as practice goes, you just go out and start slinging it. I mean, what's the process like? You get on the same page with your teammates. What's, what's this offense? Yeah, there's a lot of timing routes in this offense, and so a lot of throws, uh, some of those outbreaking routes and uh, other benders, uh, you just got to learn these guys, and that comes with time and with reps, uh, just feeling them out, uh, if, you know, for when they get in and out of their breaks, but uh, it'll get there in time. What do you think about the opportunity here, and maybe where they tell you about competing to try to feed the number two guy? Yeah, it's one of the reasons why I chose to come here. Um, I, I love Ryan. I've known him for years. Um, and just have learned, heard nothing but great stuff about this staff too. Um, even was with Logan in Cincinnati when he was a rookie and he's grown up in a lot of ways uh, from when I last was with him. So uh, it's a great room and as long as I can you know, help this team win, uh, I think we're in the right path. No, I mean, I, I'd heard of his name, uh, but we had never met. Um, you know, he was doing his thing, coaching for all these years. Um, but, you know, to have another Trojan in the room is somewhat encouraging. Yeah. How nerve-wracking would it be a week plus into training camp and you're sitting out there still waiting for the phone to ring? Uh, I wouldn't call it nerve-wracking. Um, it's, it's just a waiting period. Um, maybe nerve-wracking for my wife, just the unknown. Uh, but, I mean, I've been not this late into camp, but I've been in this situation before where there's just unknowns and you're just kind of at the mercy of whoever, you know, is making decisions. Um, but again, that comes with the territory and when your name's called, you got to be ready to go. I've, I've seen a lot more football, um, you know, even if I haven't been playing this whole time, um, just being in the room uh, with some great QBs, uh, hearing their thought process, coming up with plays, almost being a coach of sorts uh, and helping them out. But then again, just uh, the perspective that I have now from my first couple years in the league uh, is completely different uh, just in terms of how I see the game and seeing defense. You know, it's not just learning a playbook now, it's applying this offense to what I already know in the grand scheme of things. So uh, I think I've come a long way um, and I'm, I'm throwing the ball, uh, you know, a lot better than I was even when I entered the league. Sorry if you can Yeah, he's, he's a clear leader of this team. Um, the way he, he steps up and is vocal in meetings and on the field, uh, commanding guys, you know, making sure everyone's on the same page. Uh, there's a reason why he's had so much success. Uh, it's, it's just evident in the way he carries himself and how guys look up to him. So, um, you know, it's going to be fun again to learn from him and to help him in any way that I can. Yeah. What have you been doing, I guess, before you got the call here? So what was I doing? Yeah, just, just to kind of put yourself in a position to be ready when you got here. Uh, yeah, just training, strength training, conditioning, and then throwing three, four days a week. Um, just kind of trying to put myself in that camp mode. Um, it was a little hard to replicate the humidity in Southern California, but besides that, you know, throwing and getting all those reps in, uh, you know, just w just ready for when that time came. And I guess you mentioned your wife. I mean, you work in a situation like this, you just kind of come on your own to stay, hope it works out, and then potentially if it does. Yeah, for now. Um, yeah, and we got kids in school, so we're trying to navigate that world and where we put them. There's there's great schools here, um, so we'll, we'll figure that out when we get there. Yeah. What did the Giants tell you that they saw from you to want to bring in? Uh, not anything in particular. You can probably ask them about that. Um, it's the fact that you know they they know what I'm capable of and how I, you know, helped Josh in the last couple of years, um, and just what I bring to an organization. So 